What's up guys? It is Sam here. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick tutorial of Robinhood and how to enter into a position as well as I wanted to go over some of my positions. So when you get into the app here, um, you can see a couple things here. So we've got, oops, so we have the, the total portfolio value, the amount that you've gained, and anything that's gained in after hours. The one thing that I kind of wish was a little bit different here is say I were to click on this trough right here. It doesn't actually take, tell me the price of that. Like I'll close this, watch. I'm, you can't tell, but I'm clicking here and it doesn't do anything. So that would be nice if it did that. Now, uh, when we come down here, this, the, these are the positions that are open. And if you look at them, here it tells you when the expiration date is for each set of contracts. It tells you the number of contracts right here and right up above that it tells you what it is. It's a Tesla 237.50 uh, to 2.30 put. So that's a, a put spread on there. And then you can click on any one of these. So let's check out this Amazon one right here. We're going to click on that and then we come down here this is how much credit I've got on average. This is the total number of contracts. So if we want to know how much money I took in for this, we take this number times this number, and that gives me a total amount. So if we have uh, roughly 320 bucks, right? So a little bit less than 320, because if you have uh, 80 times four, that equals 320 but it's a little bit less, so it's like 315-ish uh, or something like that. So um, it comes down here, it'll tell you more information about it. I, I got, as you can see here, I got into it two different uh, times, both on the May 3rd, but one at uh, 77 cents and then one at 80 cents. And remember, these are all based on 100 shares, so this is 80 cents times 100, so it's 160. Now, if we press that button in the bottom corner here that's highlighted, that takes us back to the front page here. Uh, generally speaking, so these are uh, all the positions that are open, and down here are, is the watch list. So with the watch list, I like to keep uh, what positions I have open. So I've got, as you can see, I've got SPY, which expires Monday. Um, right there and then I have Amazon Tesla and Netflix uh, and then this is in the fall this is the one I rolled from last week or two weeks ago when I was losing a lot of fucking money son um, so uh, one of the little slightly annoying things here is if I come up here say I want to look at the the last actually say down here right I want to look at the, what the the price of this is so I click right you click here and then you click last price now what that does is it changes these so it shows the current market price which is what what I want to see right Amazon is 1963 Netflix is 385 255 and 294 however it also changes each one of the options so that I get the prices on the options when that's not what I want. I want to know the total gain or loss in the options, but you can see now it changed this. So something with their fucking software is just not like it's Robinhood has been around for like six or seven years and they have several million um, people using the app, but something like this, I feel like is so, I mean, juvenile to have this type of issue. You know what I mean? The, they shouldn't be linked the section here. I should be able to set some type of parameter here that is different than the parameters here, right? Like I want to see total gains and losses with this and I want to see last prices with this one. And I don't know why that's freaking annoying. Anyways, um, let's look at something. Let's take a look at um, opening up a trade. So there's two ways you can enter into a trade here. We can click on Netflix right here. Or, and then this takes us here. Whoops, let's see if I can move this up here. Um, then we could click trade, and we'd click options. But this is the screen it would bring to bring you to, but let's actually go back here. Let's go to Netflix. Let me see if I can move that across there. 
Let's go to the Netflix right here. And this will take us to the position. So we've got two contracts as we have right here and there. So we have two contracts and an average of 44 cents. So this took in 88 cents uh, and I'm current, whoops, and I'm currently losing uh, money on it. So if, if you look at this, right, 140 is the current market value minus what I brought in on it. So I'm currently losing $12, uh, 12 plus 40 equals what, uh, 52 bucks, right? So that's how much I'm currently losing on this position, right? And that equals that, that's what this red number is right here, 52. Anyways, to get into a position, right? We're gonna open one up on Netflix. So you could trade, we'd wanna open or close this position. No, we wanna do a new one. So when you get in here, because a lot of people who are using Robinhood don't necessarily know a ton about options, it gives you a little bit like right here, buy a call, gives you the right to buy 100 shares. As I mentioned, each option is, is has a leverage of 100 shares. Um, and I am looking right here um, of the stock at the strike price by the expiration date you'll profit if the stock goes up and lose money if not and then you can obviously click on the learn more and get more information about it it gives you a couple options there there's debit spreads so what do we know about debit spreads debit spreads are the ones right here debit spreads are the ones that cost us money so those are not the ones i like here we go these are the ones that i like put credit spreads but i never choose from list this i actually go create my own so if you just and all i'm all i'm literally doing here is you're swiping between these two so let's go over here to the 17th i'm going to do weeklies but i already have a position open so let's just come out here and right now as you can see if you if you look here at the top we have the puts and the calls and then we have buying and selling. So there's basically four variants you could do. If you wanted to do this, this would be a call, this would be a put, and this would be sell, and this would be buy, right? And so you can sell a call, or you can buy a call, and you can sell a put, or you can buy a put. And you have those quadrants that you can play with. So let's do a put, and generally speaking, I always enter my trades starting with the sell side, so it's the current share price is 385. Let's come down here to, uh, let's go here to, so there's chance of profit. Although I like, uh, generally you might use that as like a kind of a reference point. Um, generally speaking, get in somewhere where chance of profit is 80 to 90% or something like that. Um, so this is the sell side. Now we're gonna switch it to the buy. And as you can see right up here, all I did was select buy. And then it takes you all the way back to the center here where 85, uh, 385. I kind of wish it brought you down here, but uh, that's what it is. It grays it out because now we're not selling anymore, we're buying. Generally speaking, I will do a 750 spread on this. So what that means is there's if you look at the delta between 365 right here let me open this up again 365 here and here right so this one i'm selling and this one i'm buying so if you look right there at this one i'm going to receive 211 dollars and i'm going to pay 120 dollars so the difference between those is what I'm gonna get. And what it, what's the difference on that is like 69 bucks or something, I think. And so we just press this and this will show us $91 right here. That's the total amount that I'm gonna get. Remember this is times 100 shares. So you, so you take whatever the debit is or whatever the credit is times 100. It's gonna be 100 shares times 0.91 and I am going to get $91 in my in the account here and then you'd press one and it says right there uh, contracts times 100 shares right getting one press okay and it says you need to support it uh, I needed to put a deposit in so let's move these closer together 
So we're just gonna move this up to here so that I don't get that error. So now you can see the credit is 36 bucks. We'll come over here. It, you can't do half cents, so it's gonna tell me to change my thing to 36 cents. And you could change that if you want. Swipe up on here, and then it tells you your order confirmation. All right? So that is all done. Um, but obviously we don't really want that position open. So if you come down here to Netflix, it will tell you right but if you get into the actual stock that this right is a credit put spread and it's queued this is the amount that we're going to receive right and um when you have one open this sitting because sometimes your orders don't always get fulfilled right away so what you would do if you wanted to cancel that you just come in here and close that one out and that one that way that one is canceled anyways um i just want to do a quick video on this so people can see how relatively easy this is um, I think I might try doing something like this more often if you guys enjoyed this video with uh, the screen recording like this make sure you press that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to see other videos like this in the future uh, I think I might try doing stuff like this more often peace